everyone this is your shruti kanu aka anonymous i have not introduced my name into my youtube channel neither my face because i have not uh, like taken youtube as my content creation thing i just started to do daily vlogs so that i can be more consistent in my life so back then uh, what i was doing is just recording my daily life or updating about my daily life which included my workout journey my studies my internship back then i was involved with learn as you go company where i worked as a subject matter expert as well as a trainer that project got ended last year december 2024 so in between the, there were many ups and downs that i was not able to continue vlogging or uh, daily vlogs but i would not blame that ups and downs kyunki ye sabke life mein hote hain so i would just take it as my setback that i was not able to do it but now that i want to restart my journey and try to be more consistent and focused i have some news to share with you guys the project which i was working at ended on december 2024 and after that i was basically unemployed and also i my graduation was also completed 2024 august and after that i started preparing for msc entrance exams because i am quite interested in biotechnology and research fields like cancer medicine and all so i wanted to uh, do msc on biotechnology so i started preparing for exams like tifr gs biology iit jam biotechnology cuet pg and gat b etc so i am already done with tifr gs biology and iit jam uh, biotechnology tifr gs exam was on december and iit jam exam was in first week of february and also uh, like cuet pg i have selected two subjects for it first is biochemistry and second is life science so biochemistry exam is on 16th of march which is the coming sunday and i am recording this on 12th of march for your information and the life science exam is on 27th of march so i am preparing hard for it because i'm not sure if iit jam would give me a desired college for me and uh, about tifr gs biology i'm shortlisted uh, in the written exam now the next step was to fill the application form which had three parts first part uh, was regarding the personal information of the candidate and the second part included all the important questions such as why do i want to pursue a phd what is your most favorite fictional or non fictional book you have read and why did that book influence you third one was any uh, experiment or any uh, hypothesis which you uh, have like gone through in your course or and how can you modify or follow up using modern technology this type of questions were there it also included do you have any awards fellowship or any research based experiment um, sorry experience or any uh, lab experience and etc and i regretted that a lot because i don't have any uh, articles or review papers or research paper to is a big thing but i don't have any review paper or any chapter book anything published so i lag behind in that part though i have filled the application form but i am like not sure if leaving that part would give me any benefit because that is a most uh, like that point will give anybody a plus 1 point in the application round the third part of the application included the referee details which can be the teachers or the professors who taught us in our bachelors or people who are in msc for them they are in like professor or any lab uh, person or any lab supervisor under which uh, we have worked for any or uh, techniques so i just uh, jot down the names for for my professors which was the college professors um, which is dr gorgopal satpati and second is uh, like juna tamang ma'am she is the hod of our department right now so i just gave their names and it was humble enough of them that they agreed for the reference and they have already submitted the referee details and every re reference uh, letter and all for me so my application round is done i don't know the result because the deadline is till 17th of march but um, apart from this application i have received an email from tifr mumbai for a online interview which is going to take place in 24th or 25th of march and we also have an orientation session at 23rd of march 
and i got the mail regarding it also we sorry we don't have any um score cards released for this difr exams i only got the email and i could only see the list of names or shortlisted candidates in difr ncbs website so i got to know about my uh, selection or shortlisting through that email and the website list names and the next round i'm so nervous about it is the interview round uh, for tifr mumbai and this application also i'm very scared whether uh, like it will get approved or not so after that we have another round which is the interview round after this application for other institutes like tifr um, bangalore and all hyderabad and it uh, also includes isers and all but we have to apply separately for all the isers i have uh, till now uh, applied for iser pune because i could see my name in that list others i'm not sure if i'm going to apply or not i'll just see after the 17th of march so that i can be sure that i have to apply or not after my application selection or after i get any results of these i will apply to other institutes as well now for iit jain i'm not very sure that what will be the outcome because last year the paper was too easy so the cut off was very high this year the paper according to me was kind of moderate like it was kind of hard for me i can't say this but it was moderate for everyone and i also made many silly mistakes in the exam which i regret a lot but regretting won't make me selected to any of the colleges so i just moved on and started studying for cuet pg and gat b so i took online coaching from pw itself and they taught a uh, syllabus regarding iit jam and they also took extra classes for cuet pg till now they have included some tests as well till now i managed to give all the tests so i'm like even if i'm not scoring very well but i tried to be consistent and complete each and every test one test i was not able to give during the iit jam exam but i gave that test uh between the tenure which was after iit jam exam and cuet pg exam so the upcoming exams are cuet pg which is on 16th and 27th of march because i have selected two subjects and after this we have gat b on april 20 something the dates are uh, tentative the like final dates are not out yet but the forms are done like the application process is done so i'm just preparing hard for the interview and the uh, entrance exam which is cuet pg and this sunday also i have a exam which is of biochemistry and i just chose that subject and um next which i want to update is on february 2025 i got a opportunity to work as a maths tutor as a part time tutor of course and i work there from 4 pm to 9 pm and it's like 6 uh, days a week 6 days a week particularly so from monday to saturday i work from 4 pm to 9 pm as a maths tutor there and rest of the time i try to study for my entrance exam so this is all about my life update till now next i would like like to uh, make a video on the interview process and how did i manage to or like prepare for it because i don't know the outcome yet but uh, i'll surely prepare hard for the interview and the exams up which are upcoming so stay tuned for it and stay tuned for my journey and let's see what happens bye bye